Have you ever woken up, made your coffee, sat down to do your work, and opened up your computer to this? Why would you do this to me? So many chrome tabs on your computer. But in all honesty, I've always been a distracted worker. This is literally how it's been whether I'm working or perusing the internet. I open something up for use later, and before I know it, there's 20 plus tabs open. I was checking out Product Hunt to see if there was anything cool on there and I stumbled upon an app called Station. Station makes claims that it will help your productivity and allow you to focus more on your work. And it was highly regarded on Product Hunt. The way that Station works is it has web apps for your business applications so that everything is organized in a specific way. There's no URL at the top of the page and the tabs are on the left side organized in a neat and space saving fashion. Once I got past the urge and pattern to quickly create a tab and punch in a URL, it felt kind of freeing. There are a lot less distractions within Station and it helps you to get into your workflow state. I had grinded work for an hour and a half before I realized that I hadn't done anything else during that time period. I'm normally constantly opening up new tabs to browse whatever the heck my brain is thinking of at the time. But when the option to browse is taken away, it allows you to get your work done. My favorite feature that Station has is the unified search. It allows you to search through all of your files of every account that you're currently logged into, which is awesome. No more having to search through specific Google Drive accounts to find the exact file that you're looking for. Another nice feature is the most recent tab option makes it easy to go back and forth between two things, which is very helpful to make up for the fact that you can't have two documents open side by side. And that's actually one of my issues uh, with Station. The App Store has an app for just about any business necessity that you would need. Just open up the App Store and go through the different categories and find whatever apps you normally use. Now let's get into some common criticisms of Station. A lot of people write Station off by saying, it's just a web browser wrapper, and it's not that great. And yes, I agree. Honestly, it's not like it does a lot, but it achieves its main purpose to keep you focused better than a web browser. And it has some nice features to help your workflow that alternatives are missing. Another common critique is that Station is built on Electron, which is a development framework on Chromium. This means that the information users access on Station comes from a web view being displayed following the same protocol used by other traditional web browsers like Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Safari. Because it's built on Electron, it is notorious for using a lot of memory and CPU usage, which sounds familiar to Chrome. However, I went ahead and did the same exact setups in both Station and Google Chrome, and basically what I found is that the CPU usage uh, generally fluttered around the same ranges. Uh, but what's interesting is that the memory is actually less on station by more than two gigabytes. So I thought that was very interesting. Shows that they are a little bit more efficient with what they're doing. They do have, they do claim that they have this. Uh, they basically uh, shut down apps, like if you're not using them, but right now everything is totally active and those are the results. Now, another thing people like to say is that using a program like this is a huge security risk. Unfortunately, whenever they say this, they don't explain why it's a huge security risk. And to be honest, I'm not an expert in cybersecurity. So if you have information about this, definitely comment down below and, and explain why this is a huge security risk. All I did was look at their privacy policy and it basically states there that the only information they access is your own station account info. It says they don't touch anything else. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. And maybe that is the security risk in itself whether they actually have access to your information. But yes, if you know more about that, please put it down below in the comments. There are definitely some alternatives to Station, and I would encourage you to look into them. 
shift is very similar. The thing that I don't like about it is it has a URL uh, bar option at the top, which is one of the reasons why I like Station is because it doesn't have that. And uh, if you look at the pricing, eh, it cuts out features for the free version. Uh, whereas Station is completely free, which is awesome in my opinion. There is the Fluid App alternative, which turns any website into a desktop app. It's very nice. It gets rid of the URL at the top and it's lightweight and it's fast. And I'm definitely going to incorporate this into my workflow. The issue that I have with it for being an all-in-one solution uh, is it doesn't have the nice features for like different workflows that Station has. There's also France 5, which is nice, but it's made specifically for messaging apps and it's not really an all-in-one solution like Station is. Now there are a ton more apps just like these. Uh, these were some of the main ones that I found, but generally they're all missing at least something that Station has and Station is free, which is pretty impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm definitely gonna continue to use Station and Fluid in my workflow. I think it's gonna stop me from being such a uh, <laughs> browser hoarder when I'm doing my work. Uh, but if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, but I just ask that you comment down below what I could have done better. Uh, that way these videos will get better over time and you guys will enjoy them more. Uh, and that's all I got. Peace.